A day to reflect and remember those that lost their lives protecting our freedom. On this beautiful May day, many of you may be enjoying a barbecue right now or just returned from a day at the lake or shopping. But on this Memorial Day 2018, Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovic speaks with many veterans who tell us why the day is more of a remembrance and less of a celebration. Two of Dan Gwynn's grandparents served in World War II. My grandfathers fought for this country and fought for other countries to help keep them free. Um, and it, it, it needs to be remembered. And many say that's what this day is all about. Memorial Day isn't just a three-day weekend. I ask everyone here today to stop and take a moment and thank the brave men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. Memorial Day is not a day of celebration. It's a, a memorial to uh, memorialize the veterans that have died for all veterans that have passed away and we're remembering them today, one day out of the whole year. The sacrifices people have made to make this a country in which we're all proud, a country in which we have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to do many things in the world that are not able to do. It was a packed crowd on this hot May morning, which may be explained by the fact that Fargo has the highest percentage of military service members in the state according to an insurance website's data. We really do get a lot of people down here, and whether it's here at the Civic Center, if it's raining, people do remember this as a day to remember and honor those veterans. And while Dan Gwynn says he's remembering his grandfathers on this Memorial Day, it's also about remembering our history. We're very well aware that all the things we have here as Americans that make us prosperous and comfortable, we're not free. It's people that that paid a big price to give these things to us and if we forget that if we forget our history um you know we, we don't deserve it in fargo rose Itzkevis, valley news live the u.s census bureau estimates that there are more than 46,000 veterans living in north dakota that's about eight percent of the state's population in minnesota there are more than 361,000 vets in the state making up seven percent of the state's population